Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be super different. Um, definitely not doing an eyeshadow tutorial. For today's video, I kind of wanted to just sit here, chill. I threw on a hoodie, you guys. Um, and I did my makeup because I was actually practicing this eyeshadow technique. Um, I was really inspired by Kim Kardashian. I'm just coming out with another new palette, um, which I actually have it in my notes here that we're gonna talk about today. Um, and I wanted to just practice that look. But if you like this eyeshadow look, let me know if you want me to do a tutorial. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know or give this video a thumbs up so I know if this is something you are interested in. Um, but anyways, it's not about the eyeshadow. Uh, so I've seen these videos on YouTube and for me personally, I find them very, very helpful. Um, so what they are is um, YouTubers talk about new makeup products that are coming out. Um, so they kind of like decide if they're going to buy it or they're going to pass on it. So for me personally, I love watching those videos because I am, um, you know, I want to see you know if it's worth it and they kind of break it down and all that stuff and it's really really fun to watch so I thought why not let's give it a shot I'll do it um, I'll give it my own spin and hopefully you guys like videos like this so uh, like I mentioned before I do have a notebook that I wrote all of my notes down I have a bunch of new products that are coming out really soon and that are, that are about to hit the market and some of them that are actually already available online before we actually do get started do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell which is right next to the subscribe button so you can't ignore it it's right there <laughs> without further ado you guys let's go ahead and jump in okay so the very first product we're going to talk about you guys is the palette that Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out collaborating with Jackie Ina if you guys don't know who Jackie Ina is she is so hilarious I love her theme song in the beginnings of her video I'm not gonna do it because I'm so horrible at it <laughs> But I love when she does it because it gets me in the mood. She has such an amazing personality. But she's coming out with her own palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And don't mind me, I'm, I'm going to be looking at my notes here so I don't forget dates and, impor and important information. So the palette will run for $45 and it does launch um, August 6th. What are we on today? Oh, it's already out. So it's already out online August 6th. It came out yesterday. But in stores, you can definitely pick it up, um, I believe, at Ulta. You get 14 eyeshadow shades. And of course, it is going to be limited edition. I was doing my math so you get 14 eyeshadows so it's about it's like you're paying three dollars and twenty cents for each eyeshadow Más o menos don't come for me if that is incorrect <laughs> But so you get six mattes six metallic eyeshadows and two sparkling shadows So the palette you guys overall looks really really pretty um, Honestly though, I will be honest with the way that the colors are kind of set in the palette um I don't know, you know, like she did a tutorial on her YouTube channel using the palette, but I wasn't very like, oh my God, like that is so bomb. You know what I mean? Like for me, whenever a palette comes, like I literally, my reaction has to be like, oh my gosh, like this is so bomb. Like I have to have it. And uh, I mean, the colors are, are pretty, you know what I mean? But it's definitely not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have to have to have it. The colors look so pretty too though. Like. You know but I don't know it's just like that feeling like I'm like I don't know like you know what I mean I guess it's really hard to judge a palette until you actually have it with you and you actually play with it this is definitely just my opinion um, so I don't know with this one I am kind of like in the middle like I don't know if I should buy it or if I shouldn't um, I don't know I guess you guys will see if I do end up buying it, then I will do a review for you guys here. I definitely want to wait until it actually hits the um, hit store so I can go in there and swatch it. But that is definitely one of the new products that are coming out from Anastasia. Okay, you guys, so we have another product from Anastasia Beverly Hills and we have their foundation, which runs for $38. Um, I have not bought in the foundation just yet. Um, it does hit stores, I believe the 15th as well. So I'd rather go in stores um, to try it out. My Dose of Colors one, I I don't know what happened but I literally nailed it and I was able to pick my color like the exact same shade you guys it was so wild that's never happened to me but I kind of don't want to jinx it now <laughs> because I was looking at the Anastasia shades and I was like oh my gosh I don't know like I just kept doubting myself so I'm like you know what let's just wait till it hits stores and I can actually take my dose of colors foundation and then try to match it with one of theirs um so a little bit of this foundation you guys they do come in 50 shades so that is a really big foundation range um it goes from deep fair light medium and tan so you can definitely find your foundation shade within those 50 shades um so a little bit of the foundation um it does says that it's a luminous foundation so i don't know how i feel about that being combo 
I don't know. I mean, we'll get into it in just a little bit. Um, it does say that it's luminous, natural finish. It is long wearing, um, medium coverage. It feels very lightweight and it makes your skin look really fresh. Um, and it, this is this is the thing that I was kind of like, what? Really? If it's a luminous foundation, it does say that you don't need to use a setting powder like to set it. Like it's gonna set just like a powder. So I'm a little curious because it says that it's a luminous foundation. So I, it kind of made me be like, hmm. What? <laughs> um, it also says it blurs out imperfections. Um, it also says that it covers up discoloration and unevenness um, on uneven texture, I'm guessing, on the skin. Um, and then it has no flashback, it does not oxidize, and it is cruelty free and um, vegan. Um, so I don't know. I was thinking, I wrote down like I might be in the shade 200W or 250C, which W means warm and C means cool. I have more yellow undertones, um, so I don't know. I, again, I kinda wanna go in stores and kind of swatch it for myself and not jinx myself. For me personally, you guys, there is days where I do like to have more of a luminous foundation, like for those days where I really don't wanna wear makeup um, and I want something super light, but yet really pretty that will last a, a while. I wanna buy this, so this is definitely a product that I would say that I wanna buy and purchase and try it for myself. And then next we have the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder. So they also came out with a setting powder and that one runs for $36. Um, let me pull it up here for you guys. And it comes with five colors. So we have translucent, um, banana, we have vanilla, we have deep peach, and golden orange. Um, so we have definitely a variety of different powders to choose from. Normally for me, for my kit, I always go with banana um, and translucent because um, those are the ones that I normally use all the time, um, depending, of course, of my client's um, skin tone. So it does claim to brighten up your makeup and also set your makeup for, you know, for your makeup to last a lot longer. Um, it also claims to be lightweight. It's a really nice, fine powder. It does absorb your oil, so that would be great for people who do have oily skin. It does also say that it's gonna minimize shine and it gives you a matte finish and extends the wear of your makeup. So I'm really interested. I love, love setting powders. The one that I'm currently using right now is from Kylie and it's the translucent powder and then I go back into my airspun. My Laura Mercier, I do keep that for clients, so that's the powder that I use for them. Um, um, and gotta keep it bougie, you know what I mean? But the Kylie one, you guys, that's um, in the color beige, it's a really, really good one as well. The only thing about Kylie's powders, though, is if your um, beauty blender is too wet or too damp, the powder does crumble, and my Laura Mercier does not do that, um, but that is one thing that you should know about those Kylie powders. So I'm just really curious to see how the Anastasia one works, if it does crumble as well, or if it makes my makeup last a lot longer. I definitely will be picking up the Anastasia um, powder as well, so definitely keep Keep um, your eyes open for that video when I do upload because I do want to try both of them. And we have more foundations, you guys. Also, if you guys are familiar with Pat McGrath, oh my gosh, you guys, she is coming out with a foundation or it's actually already available to purchase. And that foundation is pretty expensive. It actually runs for $68. So... Um, if you guys are not familiar with her, she does do makeup for like runway models. Um, she does a lot of um, models. Um, and so we all know that those models have like amazing, flawless skin. Like they literally have like no imperfections, no blackheads, no redness, no discoloration, no nothing. I feel like a lot of them are very, very, very perfect. So I'm really also just curious to try out the foundation, but I actually have done my digging. Um, I seen who was it? Well, I mean, I feel like a lot of YouTubers have posted videos about that foundation, like Katie, Makeup by Shayla, Jackie Ina as well had uploaded. So I have seen those videos and a lot of them were saying that it's very comfortable, very pretty, um, but they don't know if it's really great for people who do have oily skin um, or combo. So I am one of them. Um, again, it's always like that thing when someone tries something, it may work for them and it may not work for you and vice versa. It's something that I always say here on my videos. So you get five different um, level shades for the foundation. So they do have about 36 shades, which is not a lot compared to the Anastasia one or Fenty beauty um this line is definitely a little bit more like smaller so what the foundation claims to do is it says that it's great for all skin types it's oil free fragrance free it's really silky and luminous um finish um, it's also a buildable um, foundation. Um, it's self-setting, long wearing, it has a satin finish, and it claims to last all day. Um, it also improves your skin texture and it blurs out your imperfections. So I don't know. I mean, it sounds really, really good, but then I'm like, crap, like, 
oh, like $68. I haven't been to Sephora lately, but Sephora does give out samples. Um, so I think I might do that first. So always do that, you guys. If there's ever a new product that you are super interested in, but you don't want to spend so much money, get a sample, girl. Like, they will give you a sample. Uh, but I think that's something that I'm going to do because with that foundation, I'm kind of like, eh, because of the reviews that i already seen. Um, they all say that, that it makes your skin look really pretty. You know, it's just one of those foundations that you just wear on the days where you hardly want to wear any makeup. And hey, if that's you and that's a foundation that you are currently um, looking for, then I would definitely recommend checking that foundation out. Okay, so next we have the KKW Beauty. Um, so let me go to the KKW Beauty website so I can see what I am talking about. <laughs> All right, you guys, so she's coming out with two brand new palettes. Um, so one of them is called the Matte Cocoa, and then the other one is called the Matte Smoke Eyeshadow Palette. Um, so each of these palettes, you guys, run for $45 each. Um, and it is, it goes online um, or for sale on August 16th at 12 p.m. So you get 10 eyeshadows. They're all matte. So none of these um, palettes have any glittery shades in them. They are um, all matte shades. And then I'm on the website, you guys. You can definitely buy, buy the full thing for $295. So you get the two palettes. You get the new eyeliners, um, six of her lipsticks. Um, so you get a bunch of goodies in this new collection. So this is the eyeshadow look that I was really inspired by. Um, she used the um, matte cocoa um, palette. That's the one that she used to create, or Mario used to create a eyeshadow look just like this. Here is the palette. I mean, I'll post a picture for you guys too, but the palette looks beautiful, obviously. This is definitely a palette that I can see a everyday girl um, that can use this palette. Definitely a palette that always reminds me of my sister because my sister is very, very minimal. She doesn't like a lot of eyeshadow. She's very bronzy, very simple. I'm the extra one in the family, so. <laughs> and I do have the KKW Beauty and Mario and the Bible palette as well. Um, and her eyeshadows, you guys, work really good. The only thing that I do notice is that with her darker um, brown shadows, like these right here, they're not as intense as they appear on the palette. So I actually have the dark brown here right now in my crease, and it's not that harsh, right? Like, this is the one that I used, and you would think that it would be pretty dark, but it's it's not. This is what it comes off to be. Um, so that's the only thing that I don't really like about the palettes when it comes to, like, the KKW Beauty or the Kylie ones. Um, but the overall, the other eyeshadows you guys they perform really really pretty and especially if you have brides that like makeup looks like this very subtle very bronzy then i definitely recommend um this palette the other palette you guys is called the matte smoky eyeshadow palette now this one as well retails for 45 dollars, and it's available as well august 16th um this one i feel like for me personally i would pass on it i don't know i mean si me llama la atención but like kind of like not really because honestly from this palette i feel like i would only use these shades right here like lately i've been really into like the softer browns to apply on my lid like this like how i have it right here um so i feel like i would only use that palette for this because i already have a black shadow that i absolutely love for my soft glam palette um so definitely not i don't know i feel like i would only use these colors right here so since we're still talking about the kardashians we have kylie so her b-day palette you guys her collection for her birthday is insane if you guys don't follow her on instagram or follow kylie cosmetics i definitely recommend you to follow her go on there look at her birthday collection it is so cute i feel like for me personally the packaging you guys is crazy good like her packaging is amazing so here is the collection or the pr box which you can also actually buy i believe online um but salim caro it's like 300 bucks i think um but this is i'll show you guys the things that i really want to get this is so beautiful like i want that on my eyes like now especially this one right here um it is so pretty look at that oh so you guys already know that definitely I'm going to be purchasing this. Um, it is so beautiful. I can definitely see that all over my eye or even on clients, on brides. She hasn't said any prices yet, actually. Um, no, if you guys have heard any prices, comment down below and let me know. But I really like those. The Press pa um, Body Glow, you guys, I really, really want that one. That one is like so beautiful. I love the way that it looks on, look, oh my God. It kind of reminds me of Trophy Wife from um, Fenty Beauty. So pretty like on the skin. I don't know, like look at that. It's so gorgeous. And for me personally, the reason why I would buy this is because on my clients, um, I normally always like to put like glow on their um, chest. It's not like a chunky glitter. I mean, de lo que se ve en el video. Um, it doesn't look super chunky. It looks very nice and like fine and just, oh my, oh my God. 
And then the palette, you guys, is the one that I really, really want. <laughs> it's called Your... I don't know, Your So? Your Own Money Baby? Is that what it is? I don't know. Ugh, the palette, you guys, is just so beautiful. I love all those like metallic eyeshadows. Just so pretty, you guys. She has six mattes, nine glittery eyeshadows. So you get 16 eyeshadows. Um, in this collection, you guys, does go live on August 10th at 9 a.m. So I absolutely love everything. I'm just going through my nose, make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, oh, she's also coming out with a primer. She has a primer. Um, it says that it's a lightweight, hydrating. Um, it also has a nice, smooth base, um, ready to apply your makeup on top. And it makes your skin really, really soft and helps your makeup last. So... The primer I'm kind of iffy about just because I've been hearing a lot of bad reviews of the Kylie skin. But then I also see a lot of people saying that it's helping with their acne. So I don't know. I feel like, again, you know, you have to try it out for yourself and see if it's something that works for you. So I don't know about the primer yet. I'll let you guys know though for sure if I will be getting that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is Fenty Beauty. So Rihanna, you guys, is launching a brand new Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation which will retail for $35. Um, so you get about 50 shades of this new foundation. Um, it claims to be hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones. Um, it's also claiming to be long wear and light as air. So it's supposed to be very, very lightweight. And I guess it's suitable for people who do have dry skin as well as for anybody who is normal. Um, so what they are saying here is that a lot of people really wanted, cause the Fenty foundation, which actually I have it right here. The Fenty Beauty Foundation. I um, mine is still pretty new, to be honest. I como que no me gustó because I feel like it's too drying. I felt like my face at the end of the day felt very cakey. Um, but then there's people that actually use this and love this foundation so much. Um, and people who are super oily um, have told me that they love, love, love this foundation. Um, but for me personally, I feel like I haven't used it because I don't know. I feel like even when I mix it with another foundation, I don't feel like I love it very much. But I've even tried applying like some um, droplets, like beauty oil droplets. Um, um, and I mix it and I just, I don't know. I just tend not to really like it. So I'm actually, to be honest, I'm really excited about the new foundation because I do have combo um, skin but it claims to be hydrating so that's something that maybe I will like that foundation better okay so it comes out August 15th so you can get it at the Sephora JC Penny you can also get it at Sephora on FentyBeauty.com um, so I'm really really stoked and excited to actually try this foundation now I'm actually really excited okay guys and last thing we have is the Sigma Enchanted eyeshadow palette which retails for oh I don't know how much it costs Never mind, it's not available just yet. It comes available August 13th. You get 14 eyeshadows um, and it gives me more of like a foresty, like fairy vibe. So I'm really excited to actually play with that. Um, so remember, use code Sandy for 10% off. For brushes, products on their website, they're always having sales, you guys. Their brushes for a very affordable price. Um, and also their brushes do have a two year warranty. So like if you get your brushes and you play with them, y se salen los pelitos, or like the ferrule, is that how you say it? Gets um, loose, you can definitely um, exchange your brush for a new brush because you have a two year warranty. So that's something super awesome about Sigma that I really, really like. Um, but the palette, you guys, I'm so excited to actually play with it. I've seen it online. It's really pretty. It's definitely a palette that I can definitely see myself using for like my clients that don't like a lot of eyeshadow as well it's definitely more of a subtle palette it doesn't look super plain like there's definitely a lot of um, makeup looks that i can create with this palette as well is it a must not necessarily to be honest but look at that grain <gasps> i want that on my lid so i'm just like i don't know i'm drooling over like those shimmery eyeshadows like i really want them on my eyes i, I can definitely find myself um using that palette <sighs> That was a lot. I talked a lot. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. So that's pretty much it of all the new products that I personally saw that are coming out. If I missed anything, comment down below and let me know. So with that, so you guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm sorry if this video is super long, but I kind of had fun just sitting here and talking with you guys. Los quiero mucho. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. It's crazy. I started off with like only, I don't remember, like very like, I think like, six no not six like four four or five thousand at the beginning of well towards like the end of last year 
like in November and now we're almost at 10,000 like to me it for to some it may not be a lot it might be like oh my god girl calm down it's only 10,000 but for me you guys it means the world so for all of you guys who definitely sit here and take your time and watch me and watch my videos and you enjoy being here with me I do it for you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the love and the support on my Instagram, on YouTube. Um, so once we do hit 10K, I'm going to be doing a giveaway here on my YouTube channel. So definitely spread the word. Share with your family, your coworkers, tu abuela, tu tío, la vecina, el vecino, <laughs> el paletero. Whoever you want to share this video with, let them know. Just tell them, hey, create an account. Just subscribe to her channel and that's all you have to do. <laughs> I love you so much. Besitos, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.